everybody. We have two uh, visitor centers. People call, text us at uh, 707-996-1090. They send us emails. They go online, the social media. Some even send us letters. Some people call us. Some people walk in and they ask us questions. And Jane, you're going to help us in a segment we call We, we get, get, get Questions. questions. Ready? Ready. Here we go. First question we got this week. Are there any hotels or lodging options in a vineyard? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you laughing. <laughs> yeah, like people come here and they want to stay in a vineyard. People do that. I, you know, actually, I don't know about hotels. Right. But I think if you look on the registry of um, B&Bs, you will find right some in you a will vineyard. find definitely find some vrbos uh, yes in vineyards in vineyards and one for sure beltane ranch which is uh, a beautiful property it's a farm it was a ranch and there's a vineyard yeah there's also really big uh, cattle out there and it's a beautiful yellow farmhouse um, you know when you're going up in kenwood on the, it's, in, it's Glen right, right kenwood. Past, past, it's right before kenwood it's in glenwood yeah yeah Glen <laughs> Ken Ellen, that's in between a, the two. Okay, so that's one of your questions. That, no, that's a good one, right? Also, the Kenwood Inn and Spa isn't in a vineyard, but directly across the street are vineyards. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous up there. It's gorgeous. I, and I got also got to say, if you are going by the new Albion Brewing Company historical marker, which is very large and easy to find, there are <laughs> <laughs> yeah. places to stay within a mile or two of there uh, that also have views of vineyards. Yeah. So, yeah. There are lots of B&Bs. Lots of BNBs. Yeah. There's a lot of them. Okay. Good job. You answered that question. You're, you're, you're hired. Second question. We just got here from Wisconsin, and we want to head out to Jenner, where the, where the Russian River goes out to the ocean. Yes. But how long does it take to get there from Sonoma? An hour. It is about an hour. About right. an hour. It is. And not okay. only, it's so beautiful. And it's a beautiful drive. You take River Road. River Road, which is uh, it's actually called Highway 12 all the way through. So Highway 12, and then it changes eventually. And t- is it, yeah, it's Highway 12 all the way out, I think. Hmm? Yeah. And no? you can, it's, no. it's, you'll see lots of seals at that yes. point. And yeah. then right above it is a lovely restaurant called oh. River's End. River's End is fantastic. That's, you just gave a plug. Hey, Bert, he owns the River's End. Okay. You, you could you could buy an ad anytime you want on this podcast, Bert. You can, no, send, you can send me a gift certificate. That's right. Send a gift certificate. <laughs> right. Care of Jane Zimmerman, mm-hmm. one third of the founders of New Albion <laughs> Brewing Company. Uh, no, River's End is a fantastic restaurant. And I, I take family out there. Actually, I've taken family from Wisconsin there. Mm. Um, and and you're, you can see the sea lions and you can see the ocean and watch the sunset. It's a there. great spot. That's a good spot. Okay, good. Um, hi, if someone walked in. Hi, we're here for an hour, and we just want to see something historic and interesting. What do you recommend? Hmm. They're here for an hour. Yeah, they're in the plaza. They're like, go to the um, mission. Go to the mission. Go to the mission. You definitely should go to the mission. That's yeah, a, right across the street, mi- yes. mission San Francisco Solano. Oh, look at you knowing the full proper name. That's like calling someone by their middle name. Good job. <laughs> Right. There are some beautiful paintings in there mm-hmm. of, of missions, yeah. and there's a lot of history. Yeah. And you didn't go to fourth grade in California, so you didn't I learn did about the mission. But your kids did, it sounds like. Yes, they did. So going uh, in fourth grade, you learn about California history, and the missions are a mm-hmm. big part of that. So uh, good. That's exactly it. You can do the mission. There's also the Toscano Hotel, which was built later, but it's on the same property. Uh, and the barracks, where the Mexican soldiers were. And the Mexican soldiers were protecting us from the Russians who had their own fort at Fort Ross. Yeah. That's right. They actually weren't protecting really from each other. They were protecting their own settlers from trading with each other because we had to trade with the other Mexicans, supposedly, and the Russians had to trade with the Russians. But there was a secret mission to meet, and they walked there from Sonoma to Russia to trade. So do you know about the Camino de Sonoma? Tell me about that. What is that? Because I've just found out recently about it having been interested in the the, you know the santiago and uh but it's from sonoma to fort ross yeah in these eight nine ten mile segments right and there's a whole group of people who that do the walk that do it that do the walk it reenacts when there was a party of people from sonoma that trekked all the way to jenner and north of jenner to fort ross yeah to meet with the uh, Russian settlers up there. Oh, so that's what the origin is. That's what, yeah. I never knew that. There yeah. was a group that set up, and they weren't actually all Russians. I should say some were Russian. A lot of them, though, were um, 
it became Russia eventually, but they were from the kingdoms of that area and also a lot of Inuit and native people and indigenous people from Alaska and Seattle because the Russians were trading all along that coastline. Yeah. So yeah. at that fort, it's very interesting, all the different uh, cultures that live there. It's, it's a good exhibit out there too. But okay, the Camino de Sonoma, let's do it. Um, <clears throat> two more questions, ready? Is there a way we can hire someone else to drive our car while we go wine tasting? Is that a thing? It's a good question, isn't it? It is a good question. It's a great yeah. question because you shouldn't be driving around if you... You should not be. If you're tasting right. a lot of wine. Right. But how do you hire a driver? Well, there are chauffeur services. There are chauffeur services. There are. There are. So there are definitely companies that will... Town cars. Town cars, and they'll drive you around. Pure Luxury, California Wine Tours... Um, and then there are the tours. organized tours. Platypus but if you tours. just want to go in your own private... No, let's say you have your own private car. And you know what? I'm going to give you a hint. There is a company. It's called Destination Drivers, and they will drive your car. Isn't that interesting? They will come here and drive your car and uh, do the uh, tour with you. So that's kind of neat. Kind so of neat. That's, yeah, Destination Drivers. So the answer is okay. yes, there is a way you can hire someone else to drive your car. And it's different than hiring an uber right right because sometimes when i get to the new wine country i'm like the best way to see this would be in my own 2004 camry but i want someone else to drive me <laughs> that's what you can do with destination <laughs> you, you drivers love your car <laughs> <laughs> this looks like so much better it's, from the back seat of a 24 20 year old toyota <laughs> uh okay final question Hello, my friends and I will be staying close to the Sonoma Plaza and looking for an outdoor restaurant that will accommodate our group of eight. It's for my friend's milestone birthday. Oh. Yeah, so an outdoor restaurant near the plaza, eight people. Milestone. Well, this is EDK. Yeah. But a great one. I'll EDK the patio. Great. The patio is fantastic. The patio is lovely <clears throat> and it can easily accommodate eight people. Absolutely. Easily. Easily. Yeah, there's a lot of space. Um the girl and the fig could do it. Across and, the street. And, girl and, 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 and so it. could Swiss. The Swiss has so three lovely gardens, all actually almost in the same garden part of the plaza. Mm -hmm. Um and you're absolutely right. So Eldorado Kitchen, Girl and the Fig, Swiss Hotel. And then there's a place at Jack London Village in Glen Ellen. The mill. The mill. Have you been there? Yeah. I went there and they had uh, like this Malaysian noodle soup that was so good. The food is really it good. It really there. is good. It's you interesting. Know, the, good food. The mill is a good one and um, it's not in a plaza, but it's overlooking Sonoma Creek. It's a beautiful center. Yeah. You got the redwoods there and the trees and the oak trees and it's shaded um, and the food is, is quite good. And a couple different uh, winery tasting rooms there. Uh, yep. Dane Sellers is there and uh, exactly. Sharemeister and stuff like that. So, yeah, good. All right, see, Jane, I don't – when when you decide to wrap up the therapy gig and if you don't open a new brewery, you could come volunteer at the visitor center. I'm just letting you know that. So 